All right, what's up guys and welcome. Welcome to Mass Effect. Now, before we move any further, I just wanted to say thank you to my friends over at EA for providing me an early access to this game, to the entire new trilogy, the entire legendary Mass Effect trilogy that has just been released. We are here playing it early, all thanks to them. So thank you so much. And now here's the big kicker. I have never played a Mass Effect game. And I stand here before you guys extremely embarrassed. I actually remember one of my best friends from childhood. He had this game on his Xbox. And he would play it all the time. And I just never played it. He would always ask me to play it. I just, I don't know. I never really, I would just kind of see him play sometimes. But I never played this game. So I know absolutely nothing. I do know for a fact that Mass Effect is indeed a top of the mountain alongside your all-time great games such as, just to throw a few out there, The Last of Us, you know, Red Dead Redemptions, all those sorts of games that, you know, your GTAs, all those sorts of games that Uncharted, that have a community of their own that when you think about them, you're like, wow, that is just, that's a game. This is a game that is just praised by so many of the influential people that I follow online and just so many people around the community that would it would honestly be a crime for me to not even try and check this game out. Now, this is probably not going to be a series unless this video were to do like really well, but I at least wanted to give it a chance and check it out to see what it's like. And then you guys can also see what it looks like in comparison to what you played many, many years ago. And now, just by listening to the music of this main menu, I can already tell this is going to be one hell of a story. If I don't continue it, I'll probably just do it off camera, play some on my own. And uh, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going into this game extremely blind. The only thing I know is that it takes place in the Milky Way. And not in not a so distant future, like the year 2180 something. It's like in the 2100s. And um, that's as much as I know. Okay, I'm going into this very blindly. I want to get a full first reaction. And uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions in the comments below. If you really think we should make it into a series, let it be known. And uh, let's do this. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. This looks really freaking crisp. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh, okay. Profile reconstruction. Due to your uh, covert N7 status ID records are incomplete. I'm gonna go with the John Shepard. I know he's a classic. Well, both of them are classics, but. Please log in to access your profile. This is giving me like really, uh, well, we just played Alien Isolation, so. Profile reconstruction complete. You know, that sci-fi feel, I love it. Earthborn, reputation. Listen guys, somewhere along the future in 300 years from now, there's still YouTube and you're watching this video. We currently do not travel in space, but I'm sure if you're watching this, we have arrived, okay? Just throwing out this message out there. Okay. <laughs> Identification confirmed. So combat difficulty will go to uh, normal's fine. Level scaling in classic mode, the original one through 60 level range will be used instead of the new one through 30 level range. And the talent points progression remains the same, but the number of level is doubled. Okay, so. I'll just leave everything as is. Squad power, defensive, subtitles on. Okay. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? 
That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. <laughs> I'll make the call. The year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space bearing civilization in the decades that followed with these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the future of further stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. Almost got him, guys. Almost got him. I love sci-fi. I really love sci-fi. Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. I like Bad that. Bad feelings are an occupational hazard. Multiple choice. We don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Captain Anderson's voice actor, he's been in a lot of really good games. Whoa. So I know what the original looks like. I've seen it. Um, and the fact that, man, this is so smooth. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Wow, this is really nice, huh? Damn, Shepard, you're sexy. Looking a little scary, though. So we've got a nice little compass. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. I'm assuming that's the objective. Let's see. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? <laughs> I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. 
But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What are we picking up? Hmm. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Hmm. Uh, we don't need your help here. Why did you tell the council? Why did we tell the council? Hmm. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. <laughs> That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Hmm. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Hmm. Oh, so you have like, wow, there's a lot of choices. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. So that's the ancient civilization? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Hmm. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. 
They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. All right, let's just go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Seems like Bring there's so many screen. choices that you can choose. You'll just be there forever. Get down! traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. What the hell is that? Well, things just got a little Aging crazy. Systems. I'm gonna do like invisibility or something. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Whoa. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectrus, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. All right, we're about we to see some game drop point two. Ship perimeter secured, Commander. All right, boys. We are here locked and loaded. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. To use uh, to holster your weapon. That is weird. Okay. Really, dude? That is so weird. Pressing the back button to... Oh, this is the <laughs> dude. The controls are so strange. Okay. What in the world? Oh my god. Okay, what is this? Upgrade kit. Okay. Does it tell me where I have to go here on this little map? Oh, and now you're you have fatigue as well. Holy smokes. All right, guys, I'm a little lost. Where do we go from here? Oh, God. What happened here? Assist here? No, no aim assist. Damn it. So 
hold LB for the squad. Use select the weapon and equip it. This is uh Okay, which is the one that dude, it's a lot of weapons, huh? Oh, I see. This is him. <clears throat> okay, I will give him this one. And uh, yeah. So we've only got one uh one ally left. This guy died, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, we can't help him now. He deserves a burial. Uh, forget about him. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh wait, there's got to be another button for me to. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, so I can press. Use to aim, select the power with. What the hell is this? Use sabotage, use throw. This is so. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Like these controls. Alright, let me just. I gotta get used to this. The whole crouching thing is crazy. Okay, we were fatigued. Where are we going here, man? What is this? This looks similar to where we came from. Yeah, we came from here. And this dude got smoked out and now he freaking disoriented me. Okay, he came from over there. We're supposed to go up this way. How, how did I even manage to go? What? So, uh, many gels is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass description electronic challenges. Um, both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Use a uh, Y for many gel to hear your squad. Press Y. Okay, he's good. He's in good health. Bro, let me show you how it, how this is done. Some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. So squad. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the D-pad to select a talent or its rank. Press A to spend a talent point or gain a rank and a selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points to unlock higher. Increases health by 4%. Yes. Charm. Uh, sets charm score at 1. Opens up a new dialogue option. <laughs> Intimidate. Sets intimidate score. Opens up a new dialogue option. It's probably going to be helpful to acquire info or something. Okay. You know what? I will do that. And I will do one of these. And there. So issue orders to your squad. Attack. What the hell? <laughs> Attack! <laughs> Press left or right on the defense. Uh, squad made ahead. Call them back. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, I'll get rid of this guy here. Nice! Alright. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Gotcha. You okay, sweetheart? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. 
We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Blame yourself, you abandoned them. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Hmm. Take us there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Okay. Should I be selecting all the choices? It seems like there's an overwhelming amount of choices you can choose for the dialogue. Press start to uh, access the mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points. Oh, that's where we were just now. Journal, codex, equipment, squad. Um, okay. Oh, kind of sexy there, huh? Ashley Williams. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Scorpion, to change your team's equipment, press access the mission computer, then select equipment screen. Okay, the equipment screen allows you to equip or upgrade or and or upgrade uh, gear for your squad. Press left or right to cycle items. Use up, down to select an item. Equip, select items with A and upgrade and equip to the breaks down selected for Omni Gel. All right, so this is the assault rifle. We all have assault rifles. Did we just get a, what was it called? A, Armor, light armor. Scorpion, that's what I just got. Equipped. Oh, crap. No. Sixty-three. I feel like mine is. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with mine. That one's actually not half bad. Unless I can actually put that on one of these guys. Let me see what it is. It isn't compared to. Not bad. I think that's better than the one he had. As a matter of fact. Oof, she's pretty banged up. Phoenix. Okay, it's just a lot, bro. Like I did not expect this game to have all this stuff. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Run to a waypoint to take cover. Behind it. Ah, oh, move to the edge of cover and press RT to fire. Hold T to lean. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Approaching a low object. They cover behind it by crouching, press RT to pop up and fire from behind. Hold LT to okay, cool. Man, you know who you're messing with? I don't know who you stinking robots think you are. The Geth. What type of dumb name is that? I let my squad handle you. Look, he's, he's aiming. You're aiming at the wrong. Oh, whoa! You sneaky little bastard. Please tell me there's a... Oh, what the frick was that? <laughs> Wait, what did I just throw? Ah, oh, shit! Scared the crap out of me, not gonna lie. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Hmm. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. 
Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. This game has like a very mysterious vibe to it. I freaking love it. A shotgun. Level up. Oh, damn, I couldn't see through the freaking uh, all the choices that we had. Oh, so I don't have to press this button to, to pull out my weapon. I can just press LT. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yo. Something crazy is happening here, man. Oh, oh hi. God. You're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Got freaking zombies here. Thank God for unlimited ammo. I'm gonna have to choose a different weapon, man. This is kind of brutal, you know? I'm be doing this to myself. Door control. Ooh, hold on. We got stuff in here. Okay, so take R, reduce to Omni Gel. This is a pistol, assault rifle. I will take off. Thank you. See, without games like these, you wouldn't have your destinies. You wouldn't have all those crazy games. Your, this was kind of like during the Halo era too. Security locks engaged. Okay, so some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you'll be able to unlock the objects using decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omni Gels. Advanced uh, to the central core, use L to move around the ring. Press A or B to move inward or outward. Avoid security programs. Wait, what the hell is this? Bro, this is just like Assassin's Creed. Ah! Dude, this is just like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Holy crap. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Look at the option. Goodbye. <laughs> what else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. <laughs> um. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. 
Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. I'm about to dose that man up. Okay, hold on. Uh, this is getting really interesting. So I'm going to... Got an assault rifle now. Okay. I will give this guy... If I give him that, do I still stay with... Okay. Assault rifle. Okay. I think I'm doing that right. Wait, what do I still have the handgun now? What the heck? What do I... Equipped. Yes. How do I... Hold on. That's for her. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you telling me that I was doing it wrong all along? All right, so we came from, uh, we came from, I don't even remember. Where's the freaking map? Okay, we came from down there. We came up here. These guys were here. Okay. This guy looks so freaking cool. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! No! What the f- Hey, yo, I'm admiring the view, what the hell? Cool, man. This game is really nice. Not gonna lie. Very interesting indeed. Alright, you guys, you guys keep doing that real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack this. Oh, there's people in there. Okay, we're probably. Okay, hold on. Got him. <laughs> Chumps. Alright, let's go. Let's do this, baby. Oh shit. Oh crap. Nice. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. <laughs> Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, Look at the guy to the left. I still can't believe it. <laughs> when we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. 
If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, <laughs> we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This should help. Let's move out. Okay, I was about to start blaming these guys. Poor Stinger. Stinger, let's see the Stinger. How's the Stinger, bro? How's that Stinger? Ooh, that looks... Let me let me try that, bro. Let me try that Stinger. Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot you. Not, not gonna shoot you. Try I like the... Actually, the hang is pretty fun because it's... It's good for, like, long distance. Medium distance, too. What is this? The hell? Can I interact with this? Commander. Ah! Okay, that was just an explosive cat. Oh, he died? Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. <laughs> what are you doing sneaking around back there? <laughs> I'm human. I'm sorry. I was hiding <laughs> from those I love pictures. It. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one <laughs> got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Geth didn't find you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I... I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. 
Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yo, this game actually has gotten really interesting right now. Hammerhead rounds. Oh man, I can't believe our boy died, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, 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 enough. Got this. Hold RB to bring the power wheel. The power wheel lets you use uh, the powers special abilities for the squad. Wait. Power wheel lets you use the powers and special abilities of your squad. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, throw recharging, use sabotage. There's a lot of things in this game we gotta get used to. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, you guys are crazy with it. Go ahead and equip the sniper. Woo! Oh shit! Don't want none of this, man. I'm too gangster. Oh! Oh my god! Woo oh, you want to get quick scope, son? Oh, this is freaking dope. There's still a lot I gotta get used to, I know. I know, okay? Stop it. <clears throat> I don't know, there's like this aura to this game, like this mystery, you know? Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Maybe the squad is back. Or the squad has arrived. We're here to kill you, robots. You don't have families. You don't have kids. You don't reproduce. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Uh, hold on, bro. What, what do you mean? Gotta get used to the fact that you don't you oh god turning and sprinting is a little confusing here. Alright, you guys handle that. I'll disarm the bombs. Perfect. Excuse me! How dare you? I'm I'm right here. That's rude. Alright guys, come on, I need your help. We gotta do this together, okay? Jammed. What is jammed? Uh, one charge is remaining. Oh, my radar is jammed. Are you kidding me? Where's the other one? Alright, cool. 
Yeah, man, I don't know. This game is really nice. Like, I don't know. I'm so intrigued. Like, the story is so fascinating right now. Especially this whole, like, in, you know, intergalactic. In, what is it? Intergalactic. You know the word. I love the sci fi stuff. It's interesting because, you know, one day we will be here. Maybe not against robots and fucking zombie robots like this guy right here. Whoa, what? What does this do? Wait, what the hell was that? I just threw something at him. Isn't that supposed to blow up? Are you kidding me? That should blow up, right? Okay. There it goes. Takes a little long. I wonder if there's like something to detonate it or something. It probably is. Okay, hold on. What is this here? Liberator. I'm gonna need some tips in the comments, bro, because uh Yeah. Oh, this is where the guy was. That's right. Beacon. You give him like some sort of like I don't know, he got like overcome by it or something. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. How's it that? How's this human <laughs> must be eliminated? This guy's got problems, bro. Oh, is that even her fault? You're about to freaking bite her face off. All right. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Look at his face. <laughs> How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. What about the beacon? <clears throat> Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? 
Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Hmm. Got nothing to hide. I did my job. The hell with them. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hmm. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. <laughs> Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Man, this is freaking cool. It's kind of crazy how, if you think about it, this game is... Planish, the Medi-Gel. So many aspects to this game. I, I gotta I gotta learn everything. This is kinda crazy. What's that, Gare? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. 
I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay, so you do get, like, things for, I guess, interacting with... with, uh... with characters and being nice and shit. Now, I was gonna say, it's crazy because, like... We, we oftentimes think, oh, you know, if aliens are real, they're going to probably, you know, kill us. And, you know, they're just spectating us and we're probably going to die. And in reality, what if in the future, what if the, in the distant future, we're actually just one out of many civilizations and we're, we have, you know, agreements or agreements with agreements, agreements with certain civilizations and disagreements with other civilizations. I mean, I don't know. That sounds some, like something that could be possible. I believe in aliens, okay? I don't know if you do, but the world is so big. Go watch those YouTube videos that, that, that compares our galaxy to other ga- Yeah, if you don't believe in aliens, I don't know, man. I don't know. I believe in aliens. What is this? I also believe in Jesus, okay? So stop. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. That guy's voice sounds very familiar, actually. His voice is like... I don't know. It's very, very, very... It sounds very familiar. It's similar to, to somebody else I've seen in, in, in like a movie. But I know Captain Anderson is a really, really good actor in real life. He has some really good movies. And he was also, I think, uh, like, uh, in Modern Warfare 2. Yep. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSD Normandy, requesting official land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. So this is really cool. I mean... <laughs> this is dope, dude. Wow. 
impressive. Okay, so use the Citadel rapid transitions to travel quickly between a major location. Use to explore Citadel more locations will unlock. So as you explore, you get... Okay, cool. So how do I... <clears throat> okay, we don't need to use that right now anyways. Or do we? We no longer have a... No, we no longer have an, a pulsing arrow. I'm just kind of looking around here, hoping, hoping to find something interesting. But I think we should take that cart. <clears throat> That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Wow, this is so cool. Five times. I was gonna say, bro, there's so much dialogue in this game. Let's see if we go this way. Citadel towers, the embassies. Let's see what happens. I was saying there's a lot of dialogue because it's like you interact with these characters and there's so much crap. Is it this way? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. What if what if the council is behind all of this, you know? They're so just like strict with like, this whole situation is like clearly multiple people are against this guy. And the council is just I mean, I guess there's rules and regulations for everything. But I don't know. It's interesting. What what I don't know, the council's a little iffy on this. And this game is really, for being old, like the way it is, the game's what, like 15, 20 years old or something crazy like that? Almost 20 years, I don't know exactly, but this is impressive stuff. The hearing's already started, come on. Let's see what happens with the council. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. <laughs> oh, yes, bitch. What's up, bro? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. 
Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> the Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Well, so would I. Bro, you see, there's so many freaking... Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. That's cool because if you notice there's i don't wait was there any humans i don't think there was any there was no humans in the council actually they were all different races hmm you don't think much of harkin 
The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Yeah, you can get lost in these choices. There's so many choices. It's incredible. Alright. out of here what i literally just i just i took a freaking i fast traveled here and then we got the assassins okay okay and oh how the hell did we even get here i mean i fast traveled here but Futuristic strip clubs look like. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Back off, Rex. <laughs> Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Okay. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Not at all. Enjoy the club. Alliance military. <laughs> Arkin, I there he is. Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. I wouldn't doubt it. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucked up. Um, what went wrong? How do you know this? You're lying. Disgust. What went wrong? Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The hero's fall. Classic tragedy. 
<laughs> you said they covered all this up. Oh, How do you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, might as well spread them around. One more chance. Tell me where Garrus is. Now. Okay, settle down. I went to speak to Dr. Michelle, over in the med clinic on the other side of the wards. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. Okay, so... Michelle. Captain Harris would tell us he used to be a Spectre. Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the Captain has to say. That's gonna be interesting. Hey, yo, Cap! You used to be a Spectre. But you never told us anything? Oh, man. Right, let's open this door up. This is normally where we would have came from. Um, so we're going to actually run this way. That way we can discover more areas. But instead of fast, uh, instead of running this way, we actually fast traveled here. Wow, it's you. Yes, it's, 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 it is I. I am the legendary shepherd. Okay, this is another. Let's see. If I take a look at the map. Alright. The med clinic. So. We just gotta go through here. Perfect. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Uh, yes, sweetheart. What do you want? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could Kinda I have a good. moment of your time? No. I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I see why this game can be very, very, um, one, long, and two, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Complex. That's the word. There's just a lot of a lot. There's so many, like, different angles that you can just play I this game at. Anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll who are you? Let her go. to help all right garris and then we got the doctor perfect Speaks time garris. gave me a clear shot at that bastard big risk no problem nice shot you took him down clean sometimes you get lucky dr michelle are you hurt no i'm okay thanks to you all of you why were they threatening you who do they work for they work for feast they wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation in the Seren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. 
Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Hmm. Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. But first, uh, but Fist has her. We need to find her. I don't have anything yet. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. You can come along, but I'll be watching you. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Hmm. Should we? A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, shit. So I gotta trade one of the guys. Add to squad. John Shepard, no. Scaris. What is this for? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Damn. I'll do that. Okay. What is this? Planish Medija. I feel bad for leaving uh, this trick behind. Okay, so right now we've got... Uh Actually, hold on. Let me see. Can I go this way? Negative Ghost Rider. Alright, let's see. CSEC Academy Directions. The med Clinic is located at the end of the wards. The elevator to CSEC is located downstairs. Okay, perfect. So that's the elevator right there, I would assume. Yes. Well, that's cool. I hope I'm going the right way. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents have expanded. Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to skip the whole thing. Maybe I did. Hmm. Here it is. Perfect. Hello, guys. Is it I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. Garrus. Wait, who's? Oh, dude, that's Rex right there. He looks Witnesses evil to me. Saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? This is mine. My name is Shepard. 
You will. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. <laughs> Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Aw, oh, damn, so now we got a freaking... Okay, okay. So I will do this. Damn. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this... Yeah, we'll do that. Just, just to change it up a little bit, you know what? That's fine. So this guy is in fact a good. Okay, so can we go up through here? All right, guys. So we are headed back to the strip club. Oh. Oh. Oh, he knows all right. We got the bartender shooting at us. We got a thug here. again we're just standing there bro <laughs> oh, hold on these guys did a heal up these guys are about to die on me uh yeah there we go again are we good try this okay uh, perfect I will take them off thank you very much why do I have to do everything myself time to die little soldiers <laughs> time to die little soldiers Turrets. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, shit. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. <laughs> He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, 
It'll be Saren's men waiting for. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> what are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Okay. Can it be through here? No, this is locked. Alright. Open up, open up. How we play around here. We don't use the soul rifles. We use damn snipers. I'm just kidding. Okay, please don't kill me. I will go back to my assault rifle. Now, where the hell is this place? First time I was here, I dropped a bottle in the casino. <laughs> Got so mad, I put my fist through one of the machines. Let's see. How do we get to that place? There it is. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't appreciate the help who are you my name's Shepard I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell you. <laughs> making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Talizora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. That sounds kind of fucking dumb. 
scary. Not dumb. Scary. Dumb. Okay. And what did you find? What about Saren? Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. That's probably the, the, the other woman with him. The Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Hmm. <clears throat> wow. Interesting. I love how you can just swap your, your squad, you know? I think that's pretty cool. But we've been recording about two hours now. Hmm. Should we go to the council and see what's up with that? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. If they don't approve this... And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. <laughs> this evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Okay, okay, I yes! I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Okay. Matriarch okay. Venezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch <laughs> Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. 
The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Mmm. Could be too. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. Wait, are we really about to get? It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of Yo. courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. <laughs> He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. That's so crazy. He's going to be so mad that a human took his place. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on, right <laughs> behind you, Shepard. Wow.
Holy smokes. Well, yeah. We have been promoted. We are now a Spectre. Spectre Shepherd. Guys, uh, I think we're going to end it here. I've been playing for like two and a half hours or so. A little bit under two and a half, like two and 15. But uh, this was really, really cool. I want to see how this video does. Um, I know this is a pretty long game. It's like 20 hours long from what I've read. I'm not too sure if I can confirm or deny that. You guys can probably let me know in the comments. So I just wanted to do one episode, one video, bring it out, show you guys what it looks like. I have no intentions to make it a full series. Again, unless the video does exceptionally well. But uh, this was really fun. Again, a huge thanks to my friends over at EA for providing me an early code. And I hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, catch you later.